I get 150, 200 emails a day. If I don't check my email mm -hmm. like over the weekend or something, I mm -hmm. swear I take 30 minutes just hitting delete mm -hmm. on all of these emails. Mm -hmm. What are what are some stats or how do you how do you stand out and actually get read? And when people like open it up and they see all these emails and they just start deleting. What's mm -hmm. going on there and how can you get your email to actually be accepted, opened, and read and responded to? Um, yeah, so, so the first thing people look at in the inbox is the sender name. So if they aren't, if they don't immediately identify who you are, uh, and if you haven't established a reputation with them before as being uh, an email they want to open, then they're going to ignore you. So I say this because some people, um, one of the strategies I hear people talk about is uh, the sender name should be a personal name because it increases open rates. I've tested that and um, yes, open rates will go up, but so do unsubscribe rates. So if they don't immediately identify that name, if they don't have a personal relationship with you already and they open it up and they say, oh, I don't remember this person or um, I don't know why I signed up for these emails to begin with, they're gonna unsubscribe. Um, so making sure that sender name is super clear is the first um, thing. You can add some visual interest to that um, so that it stands out in the inbox. You can put emojis in a sender name or a special character so that it stands out a little bit. Subject lines, um, you want to make it catchy, right? And you want it to, um, to be something really tantalizing. And so one thing I see people do a lot with subject lines that's not super helpful um, is uh, make it about the brand. Um, putting the word you in a subject line is going to obviously speak to your audience, but testing around this has shown it can increase open rates. So, and it just reframes it in your mind so that you're speaking to your audience and you are telling them what's in it for them when they open the email. So that's what I usually ask when I'm trying to, when I'm writing a subject line is, why would somebody want to open this email? What's in it for them? Um, and that will, obviously speak to the benefits that you're offering them instead of like, hey, this email has something in it, <laughs> you know? Um, being specific and talking to your audience like they're real people gets better responses. So then we, we get it open. What's going on next? What's the next hurdle that the audition you have to pass? <laughs> well, um, so uh, another mistake I see a lot of people make in their emails is they just jam it with a ton of content. <laughs> um, and it's fine. I mean, that could be okay, depending on your audience, but um, it's overwhelming. You know, people skim emails, um, they skim digital content. And so if you're just putting article after article after article that all has the same sort of weight and focus to it, people are just gonna glaze over. The same thing that, uh, that is also the same thing with text, right? If you're just putting a glob of text in an email, people are going to just glaze over, right? Big blocks of paragraphs. Um, so what I recommend is one, having one primary focus to your email. So having one theme that you are focusing people on and having one primary call to action. So again, it helps people focus on what it is you want them to do. Um, and then you can have maybe some supplemental content underneath it. And I wouldn't do more than two or three things, right? Um, so if you have, for example, you know, you have a new service you're offering and you want to announce it, having that your primary focus, making sure your call to action is clear and specific about what they need to do next to take advantage of that. And then, you know, maybe having a couple of blocks of, you know, here's our portfolio, here's some testimonials. Here's what, um, here's some additional supplemental content you might find interesting. 
um, or products. Um, so again, really making it, helping people focus and understand what's the next action they need to take to, um, to become a customer or a repeat customer. Hey, thanks for watching these golden nuggets. And as a reward, I got another big fat golden nugget just for you. I wrote this book for you to help you get your act together online so you can grow your business better. You're searching, you're wanting to learn. This is a great book. Grab the book, grow your business. Amazing, right? <laughs>